Welcome to this beautiful property here in Hacienda San Joaquin. This 1.2 hectares property boasts two master bedrooms, each with its own bathroom, custom-built cabinets, and artisanal wooden floors, offering rustic elegance. Indulge in the lushness of hundreds of organically grown fruit trees, vegetable gardens, and a thriving greenhouse that promises a true farm-to-table lifestyle. This isn't just a home, it's a lifestyle choice for those seeking harmony with nature, security, and the unmatched beauty of Vilcabamba. Hi everybody, this is Carl from Abundant Living Ecuador, and today we are visiting a beautiful property in gated community Hacienda San Joaquin here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. As you're coming into this property, you can appreciate the beauty of the nature here in the driveway. The current owners of this property have done a fantastic job at planting this property with a wide variety of perennial plants, fruit trees, flowers, vegetables. There's just such a wonderful, well done landscaping throughout this whole property. We have some abundance of producing fruit trees, mangoes, avocados, bananas, mulberries, and a whole bunch more. We also have a greenhouse full of vegetables, cucumbers, tomatoes, all kinds of herbs. Truly, truly a work of art. The landscaping here is really second to none. This is one of the most beautiful properties in the area. Um, truly a very unique property. The landscaping, like I said, is, is wonderful. There's such a variety of different types of trees as well. Flowers, bushes. They've been maintaining this property by cutting the grass, keeping everything clean and organized. We have a beautiful river front area as well. Um, there's also, of course, the main house, which we're gonna go see right now. And it's just a very special place here in Hacienda San Joaquin, Vilcabamba, Ecuador. Let's go inside the house and take a quick peek. So as you can see, beautiful, large front porch area. Really, really sweet, really, really special. Um, I love the forested area right in front of the house. You have just a variety of large, beautiful plants, fruit trees. There's a large sabo tree there. There's some eucalyptus, there's some pine, some uh, Wilco trees as well. Just a really nice mix. It kind of feels like a forest right here. Um, actually, why don't we go take a quick stroll through there first before we get into the house. First of all, I would love to point out the silence here, the peace, the quietness, the tranquility. You can only hear the sound of the river. You can hear the birds. It's a very peaceful and quiet area of the Hacienda San Joaquin, far enough from the road that you can't really hear it. So right here, as you can see, beautiful, large sabo tree. This is really a beautiful, large one and looks really healthy. It's green, vibrant in color. So the sabo tree, of course, has those very intimidating spikes. I wouldn't want to fall on those, but uh, it's just really a glorious large tree here on the property. Of course, very old. It might be 30, 40 years old. Very iconic tree and clearly looks very healthy. It flowers once a year, so you'll see those beautiful white or yellowish flowers in the tree. Um, you don't see them today, but uh, just a really nice to have on your property. And then of course, just a beautiful forested area here, full of nature, very peaceful, just gorgeous, uh, vibrant flowers, etc. So let's go take a quick peek inside the house. Wow, what a beautiful place. Feels really, really good in here. So this right here is the living room. Over here we have the kitchen and dining room area. So as you can see, a nice large sink. There's a beautiful oven, nice fridge as well. And it's worth mentioning that this house comes completely furnished. So all of the appliances, the furniture as well are included in the price. And uh, basically it's a turnkey house. So right here behind the kitchen, we have a nice little storage space with built-in cabinets, as you can see nice storage area for storing extra things and then we have a door that leads to the outside of the house the back side of the porch also worth mentioning that we have very high ceilings in this house so it feels like there's a lot of space to breathe a lot of natural airflow as well it just feels really good inside this house but what i really like about this house is to me the design is very very well done you have the living room, the kitchen, then you have bedroom number one and bedroom number two that both have their private bathrooms. And then right here in the hallway, you have a door that takes you to the laundry area. So it's really nice. You, can, you don't have to hear the laundry machine. You can close it off and leave it closed. 
when you're doing laundry. And I just really like the harmony and the feel of this house. This house feels really, really good when you're here. So let's go take a look at the first bedroom. So this is the first bedroom, the bedroom that's on the left-hand side of the house. As you can see, beautiful, beautiful bedroom, lots of wood. We have some built-in closets here, which are really nice. The, the feel in this room is really beautiful. There's a little loft space up above that you can access with the ladder. We also have some beautiful wooden floors that are made out of pine wood, which is really, really nice. It gives a beautiful rustic feel to the house, but also very elegant. And then just a really nice area here for stretching. You can come here and sit and meditate, <clears throat> enjoy the beautiful views from the window and just the really nice, wonderful, harmonious feel that this bedroom has. So what's really nice about this loft area up here is if you have children or grandchildren, this could actually be plenty of space for an extra bed. So you have one in each room, so you, you could have two extra beds up in the little balcony storage area up here. It's definitely plenty of space to uh, have a nice little bed. And then of course, it's worth mentioning again, each bedroom has its own private bathroom. So that's also really nice to have this feature in the house. And then it's worth mentioning that all the lights in this house have a dimmer. So you have a dimmer switch for the light, which is... And then we'll head over to the second bedroom right here. Once again, beautiful space, very peaceful. And the floors in this bedroom are made out of a different type of Amazonian wood. It's referred to as pituca. This is a very nice hardwood, which really adds a beautiful touch of rustic elegance to this house. And then of course, this bedroom also has its own bathroom here with, it, with its own shower as well. It's worth mentioning that this house has a security system all throughout the house with security cameras, floodlights with motion detectors, as well as an alarm system. There's also some security bars on some of the windows. So we have an extra layer of security as well. And then right here on the side of the house, part of the porch area, there's a nice little table to come and sit and enjoy the beauty, as well as a space here for washing some dishes, maybe opening some coconuts and making some food preparations here outside as well. The house is also equipped with a far infrared sauna, which is really nice, get a healthy sweat. And then we also have a stationary bike here if you wanna do a little bit of exercise before you jump in the sauna. Another really interesting thing here is right next to uh, the first bedroom, we have a Caballero de la Noche or a night blooming jasmine right next to the window. So these at night, the fragrance and the aroma comes out and you can smell delicious uh, smell and aroma straight into your bedroom. All right, so now let's go take a stroll through the lush and abundant gardens on this property. Here we have what is referred to as almendro which is a type of almond, not exactly like almond, but it's a beautiful perennial. There is a fruit that is edible. Uh, it's not, not quite like almonds, but they call it almendro here. Here we have a mango tree. There's quite a few of those on the property. As you can see, there's some that are ready to go here. If you don't eat them soon enough, you have the rodents and the birds that start eating them first. But uh, yeah, delicious mangoes. This is a variety that's really delicious and sweet. And right here we have what's referred to as mandarinas. This is a delicious mandarin. Let's taste it. Delicious, juicy mandarina. Right here we have a fig tree. Here's another one here. They're not currently producing, but over time they will start producing more fruits. And right around here we have a whole lot of mulberry trees that are clearly producing. So as you can see, some delicious mulberries. They are thriving right now. And these are really delicious. Oh wow, these are beautiful. How wonderful would it be to wake up in the morning, go for a quick walk next to the house, harvest some delicious morilla or mulberries and just enjoy and munch on those vibrant, beautiful purple mulberries. And then let's go take a look at the greenhouse there. And so right here next to me is a Moringa tree. This is a 
very special tree where you can actually eat the leaves and it's very, very high in nutrition. So the leaves taste a little peppery, but they're really nice. You can add them to your smoothies, put a little bit in your salad, blend it up in a juice, and it's actually really nice and nutritious. Right here we have a cherimoya tree. These are um, custard apples. This tree is lleno de frutas. It's full of fruits. Um, you have a lot of it growing. This tree is really happy because uh, they don't all do really well in all climates, but I think they really like this particular climate here. And so this tree is definitely uh, loaded with fruits. Let's go take a look in the greenhouse. So as you can see, everything seems to be doing really well. We have some Swiss chard, there's some carrots, parsley, a whole bunch of varieties of lettuces, some peppers in the back, cucumbers, chives. We have some yellow bell peppers, more lettuce here, some little baby lettuces, beautiful basil. Look at this, beautiful basil. Let's try, let's try it. Mmm, amazing, wow. And here we have a really large comfrey, consuelda. Suelda, consuelda, it's very good for wounds, very good for healing, bone. It's a, they call it bone knitting, bone knitting plant. So right behind me, as you can see, we have a large quantity of banana trees of various varieties, and they do really well here. It's a really good climate, a little bit below the Vilcabamba level, Hacienda San Joaquin might be 50 to 100 meters lower in elevation, so bananas and tropical fruits tend to do a little bit better here. This is a sapote tree. It's got tons of fruits in it. They're not fully ripe right now, but um, they're really a special fruit. Almost tastes like a very sweet pumpkin. Right here, we have a very large avocado tree. As you can see, lots of fruits all throughout the tree. Clearly, they're not ready, they're not ripe yet, but this tree is gonna produce a mass amount of fruits. You can see all of the little ones and still some flowers blooming there. So lots of fruits on this avocado tree. A cacao tree, which is the fruit that chocolate is made out of. So we have the cacao pods around here. They are not ready yet, but uh, this, you can make chocolate out of this, believe it or not. Right here we have some pomegranates. These, these are actual lemons, sour lemons. Limon, it, it's tart, but it's actually not too tart. It's, you can eat it like that, it's very, very delicious. Here we have a lime tree that's producing a lot. There's those little limes, as you can see, they're falling below the tree as well. Really delicious for lemonade. And this here is what they call sweet lemons, or lima, ¿no es cierto, Fernando? Eso los llaman lima. They're um, basically a sweet lemon, so they're actually not even, uh, not even tart. They're actually quite sweet and basically you can um, you can eat eat them just like that so believe it or not it's not sour at all there's no sourness at all to this um, it tastes very very good actually very refreshing all right so we're not too sure here if this is an orange tree or a sour orange. So here they have the Naranja Agria, which uh, is very common here. And they look very similar, but sometimes you might eat an orange and it's a lot, it's a lot more sour than you, than you expected. So let's try one of those out. I think these might be the sour ones. Let's, let's find out what it looks like inside. Looks just like an orange with seeds. it's the sour ones. <laughs> so they're still very tasty and they're actually really nice to add to sugarcane juice. So typically if you go buy some jugo de caña, they'll put some naranja agria inside and it just smooths the taste of the sugarcane. So right here along the river, there's even more mulberry trees uh, with, once again, delicious, beautiful mulberries. So right here, the whole river front of the property is planted with bamboo trees. So you have a beautiful bamboo forest all around the edge of the property. And let's go take a look at the riverfront over here. Also, it's worth mentioning that there's a beautiful space right here along the river. It's not really being used for anything. So this could be a little soccer field, a little place for the kids. You could even redirect the river into here, put a little pond in and have the water 
flow back into the river. Some people do that. So that's a nice, nice large space here. You could also have um, a little cabin or a little gazebo, some tables and chairs, a little barbecue area to, be, to come and enjoy the riverfront here. There's another mandarin tree here. We're gonna try one of these. Actually, these are easy enough to open. Mm. Very good, very sweet. I really love those large palm trees. They're very big and thick. Of course, they're gonna keep growing and get really tall. These are very special, quite unique actually in this area. We got another sabo tree by the river with the large spikes. Right here, we have some nice garden beds by the river, close to the house as well. Over here, we have some strawberries growing all in this garden bed. There's also some cabbage and some kale as well. Nice kale, highly nutritious. Fernando, nos cogió la lluvia. It's raining on us right now a little bit, drizzling as we are in the rainy season. But right here, I wanted to point out some turmeric, turmeric plants. This is a, uh, as you guys know, turmeric. So these are actually the, the actual turmeric roots. So I'm not gonna harvest any right now, but you can see uh, a little piece of the root here. This uh, deep orange color. Oops. So right here next to the house, we have something that could be turned into a chicken coop. I believe this was actually built, well, you could have a, a pets, dogs, you know, a kennel for pets. But I believe this was built for uh, some type of exotic bird, actually. So that's something that you have here on the property. It's usually, it's used only as storage right now. And then right here on the side of the house at the back, there's a nice open area that is also beautiful and could be used for something. You got this nice open space here to come and stretch, do some martial arts or something like that <laughs> out here in nature. And here we're just circling back on the back side of the house to get back to the parking lot. But as you can see also, it's nice and forested. You have some bamboo on one side, beautiful flowers like these. Look at this, it's like a work of art. And we're back here in the parking lot area next to the main house. Mentioning also that this property has its own well. So right here we have, muchas gracias. We have the well area, which has plenty of water and uh, there's water here all year round as an extra backup system for the property. Of course, the property is also hooked up to the San Joaquin water system. So there's uh, potable water here that, is, that comes from wells here in San Joaquin that's filtered and treated. The property also has access to that, but it's good to have a backup system, extra water here from the well. So this property of course has tons of fruit trees. There's another mango tree right here with beautiful fruits. And there's more mulberries, oranges, trees that we didn't all go to all of them because there's so many of them but uh, definitely plenty of food growing on this property to never starve. All right, thank you guys for joining us today on this tour of this beautiful property, Eco Sanctuary here in Hacienda San Joaquin, Vilcabamba, Ecuador. We hope to see you here one day and until then, see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel right here. Check out our real estate channel right here for content that you will absolutely love. Click right here. And if you wanna know how we got here, click here.